Hello everyone, I'm Ronnie, and today we're going to be talking about the new Park It Forward Pass for the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. This is a new program that the Park Service has put in place exclusively for the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, and I've had a lot of questions about how do you go about getting it, what does it cost, what do you do with it. So today we're going to look at some of that on their website and see how we can find out how you can obtain your annual parking pass for the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. In order to obtain your new annual pass for the Park It Forward program, the Great Smoky Mountains National Park is rolled out on March the 1st. I'm gonna show you how the easiest way to go about that is. So open your browser up, type in Great Smoky Mountains National Park, it should be the first one that comes up in the search results, Great Smoky Mountains National Park. That will take you to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park homepage. If you'll scroll down the homepage, you'll see a great big square on the left side of the page. It says, Park It Forward, Great Smoky Mountains National Park. If you click on this anywhere in this area, it'll take you to a second page in the National Park Service that addresses how to obtain your Park It Forward Pass. Now, we're talking about an annual pass today because there is two separate websites that you use, whether you're going to purchase a weekly or daily pass or the annual pass. So in this video, we're going to talk about the annual pass. I'm uh, gonna attach a link to another video that we've made on how to obtain a weekly or daily pass that will be helpful to you if you're not going to require an annual pass. If you'll notice here on this page, there's a YouTube video in, embedded in the page, it's about four and a half minutes long, that has complete information on the Park It Forward program. So that's, a, that's a very helpful, and I'll also put a link to that in the description as well, so you'll be able to find it easily. You see the parking tag basics here has the prices of your daily pass for $5, a weekly pass for $15, and the annual pass for $40 that we're going to be discussing today. It has some, some other information listed here about some particular park, National Park Service passes that is or is not accepted under this program. This parking pass is exclusive to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. You cannot use it in any other parks in the National Park System, or you cannot use other options from other parks in place of this Park It Forward Pass. So as we go down, uh, the annual pass says purchase and ship on your first tag purchase option. So we're going to click on that, and that's going to take you to information leading to the annual parking tags. Now if you notice down here on the bottom of the page in the lower right hand corner, you'll see two different types of passes. The Park It Forward annual pass is a vinyl decal with the bear on it that says 2024 and it has a place where you add your tag number to it. Now keep in mind you have to put your tag number on the pass after you receive it before you put it in the windshield. So let's move on. The other pass we see here before we go is a weekly or daily pass that you can print online if you order it online or if you buy it at the kiosk at the visitor center it will literally print this out as you see it here along with your tag number that you include in the information that you put in the kiosk. So in order to get our annual tag pass, we see the parking tag purchase options. So let's click on annual parking tags and you'll see it prompts you here that we're going to a third party site away from the park service website. And this site is called the Great Smoky Mountains Association. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with that and has been on this site before, but they are the ones that's handling the annual parking tag permit sales. So if you go on this, it'll actually give you a little bit more information. 
It actually tell you that annual parking tags are valid for 12 months from the date of purchase and expire at 11.59 p.m. on the last day of the expiration month, a full 365 days. So if you buy it whatever time of the year that you buy it, it will be good until 365 days has passed from the purchase date. So we're going to go to add pre-order to cart and it comes and tells you that they appreciate your order and you go on down uh, and click on the cart view cart and there it is there's your annual parking tag in the par in the cart it's charging you forty dollars for one if you're going to buy more than one, say you're going to take two cars with you on your trip and you need a parking tag for both for the annual period, uh, you can add or subtract, update the cart. You might even want to consider getting one for a gift for someone to give them an annual parking tag as a gift. That would make a great gift. Uh, anyway. We're going to go for one today, $40. You see there's no, t no sales tax or any other types of charges except for $1.25 they charge to ship your parking pass to you uh, through the United States Post Office Service to your mailbox. So when you come down to the bottom, the total is $41.25 and you proceed to check out. And it works just like any other cart you might use in an online purchase. It, you put your information in over here, everything right down according to email address and everything. And then uh, put in your credit card information here and you can go forward and place your order down here at the bottom right. Now this is a very simple process to use. When I ordered mine, it took about a week to get here. so. Uh, keep that in mind when you order it, uh, that when, when you order it to give yourself plenty of time before your trip starts for them to ship it. Uh, probably by the time vacation time gets here in summer, it may take them a little longer than a week. I don't know, but I do know they're readily acceptable and I wouldn't want you to think that it's going to come in a day or two, maybe three. Uh, it probably won't. So give yourself at least, I'll say a couple of weeks, uh, the closer we get to vacation time, and I'm sure they'll be able to get your annual parking pass to you as soon as, as, uh, as they can process it. They're very prompt on this. So there you have it. That's how you order your annual parking pass. We're gonna go to the car, and uh, I'm gonna actually show you how to install it on the, on the vehicle. So. Uh, just follow us out to the vehicle and we're going to see what uh, what we have to do to get this on the car where we can go enjoy the Great Smoky Mountains and all the beauty that it has for us. Okay, so we're out here at the car. I've just got my annual pass that I received a few days ago. So we're going to show you how to install it on the car where the Rangers can find it without any problems. So this is the way it comes from the Great Smoky Mountains Association on the website that I showed you. And so we're gonna look and see what they put inside. First of all, there's your annual parking tag that they send. It comes just like this. And they also include your receipt. So you have proof of where you purchased it. Yeah, I don't know uh, that you would ever need it, but it never hurts to have those things in the car with you. So we're gonna put that over here. And uh, the first thing we're gonna do is take this envelope and we're going to walk around to the back of the car and write the tag number down because as you know you have to put the tag number on the annual pass yourself before you put it on the car. Now if you notice on the annual pass when you get it it's backwards so be sure and peel that pass off just like that turn it over and then record your tag number that you wrote down right on the front of the tag. Just like that. 
Now, we're going to take it and we're going to put it on the windshield. And the instructions said to put it on the passenger side on the lower part of the windshield. Now, some of the windshields, if yours is like mine right here, I suggest that you go up and put it a little bit higher up away from the black part where they won't have any problem uh, seeing it when they come in to, over to your car to see if you have the park it forward parking pass on there. So there we go. There it is, just like that. You're legal to park anywhere in any part of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park for as long as you want to stay. Okay guys, there you have it. That's easy, easy peasy to get your new parking pass for the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. I hope we went through it slow enough and clear enough where it's cleared up a lot of questions for you. And if you found any value in this video, we'd appreciate if you'd hit that big thumbs up button below and consider subscribing to our channel for more popular adventures outdoors. So hope to see you up in the park and I hope you enjoy your stay. Until next time.